Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2021 tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use clipping masks and I'm going to show you step by step and I'm going to go very very quickly so you guys get all the steps and not too much fluff. You'll see here I've got a rectangle and a circle and I have clipped images to these shapes and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first step here open up Photoshop of course then go file new. Once you select new I'm going to go ahead and switch up here to the web and I'm going to create this one here web most common. This doesn't matter whatever size you want to work with is fine by me. Left click on create. Alright cool we've got an artboard we're in business guys and gals. The next step is you want to create the shapes that we're going to clip the images to. So I'm going to create a rectangle, so I'm going to left click on that rectangle, and then I'm going to draw out the rectangle. And you might notice here this silly stuff that's on the side there. That's because this is a brand new version. It just did an update and it's giving me the uh, info, the tool. So I've created a nice cool uh, shape here. I've got a rectangle or a square. It's almost a perfect square. The second thing I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create an ellipse. And I'm going to drag it out. I'm going to hold down shift to make sure that it's a proper full circle and boom I've got two shapes now there's a possibility that you guys if you haven't used this tool in a while or if it's on default settings that it is set to uh, fill with white it doesn't the fill color doesn't matter but you want to generally select a color so I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on it and you're gonna see here that I can select any color I want so let's make this one black just for the just to show you how to do it and also you'll notice one's called rectangle one's called ellipse okay so we've got our two shapes now we're gonna start creating the clipping masks now I've got two pictures here to do so the first step I'm gonna go into finder and if you're in uh, computer you should, you'll be able to find it under your Explorer Windows Explorer whatever it's called um, and now I'm gonna go to my pictures drive so basically what you wanna do is you wanna select a picture this is a picture of my very handsome dog named Kingston and I am, I've selected him, going to drop it on top of the canvas here. Boom. Done. Now, you'll notice that it is not placed. It is just above it. So the next step is I'm going to drag it into place. I'm going to put this over the ellipse, or over the, the, the uh, rectangle, pardon me. And I'm also going to go ahead and increase the size of it. So something like this. Let's go a little bigger than the, yeah, let's go with something like that. And now I'm going to adjust its positioning. Yeah, let's go with something like that. Okay, good. I'm going to click off of it. I'm going to hit enter. That now places the image. So the image is now placed onto the artboard. However, you're going to notice here in the stacking that it is above the ellipse. And what I want to do is I want to clip this my doggy to the rectangle. So you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Kingston here, which is the image, and I'm going to drag it below the ellipse. Stacking order matters. So I'm going to now create the clipping mask. This is the this is the big pick. This is the big one, guys. So what you do is you hold down the Alt or the Option key if you're on a PC when you're above it, and then you're going to want to kind of hover in between the two lines. And when you do that, you're going to see the square and the down arrow. That indicates I'm creating a clipping mask. I'm going to left click, and boom, the puppy dog. Kingston is now clipped to that rectangle. So anything outside of the rectangle is clipped off. If I double click on his face here, I'm just going to go up. If I double click on him, I can move him around too. So if you don't get it right in terms of where you want the image, like let's say I want more of his face and less of his ears, you can move up and down just like that. Finally, when you're on the picture, if you hit Command or Control T, it allows you to bring back the bounding box so if you want to adjust the size of the image let's say you wanted to have it nice and tight to the edges something like that go ahead and do that you can do that that is a perfect clipping mask now I'm gonna do another one here for the uh, for this circle just to show you again in case uh, you didn't catch it the first time I'm gonna go ahead and click on my uh, finder I'm gonna select my picture drag and drop it onto the uh, Photoshop document I'm going to hover it, boom, drop it on top. And it's going to load up. I don't want to do that. I don't care about that. So camera raw doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and move it. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You see the problem? It's already, you're going to notice where it's stacked underneath the ellipse. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and make it a bit bigger on the, what I think the right size will be, something like that. I'm going to hit enter. Now, obviously, I'm glad that it did that because, again, this is going to show you the importance of stacking orders. I'm going to move this uh, stock image now above the ellipse, and boom, now she's above. I'm going to reposition her above it here, so this is about where I think it'll be. Now, again, I'm going to hold down the Alt or the Option command over the ellipse. I'm going to see, you're going to see the square and the down arrow again, left clicking on this. Bang. It is now clipped right to the circle. This is all you need to know, guys. Thanks for watching the tutorial. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Cheers.